Hey guys, do you know how many of these Timmies are desperately trying to sell me their collections? Not just MetaZoo, but you know, other stuff. But how do you know it's a Timmy without a Timmy? Without him telling you that he's a Timmy? Well, you can see what they're trying to sell you. Pokemon, MTG, Fab, Sorcery, and MetaZoo. So he wants $22,000 for a MetaZoo Sorcery Fresh Flesh and Blood collection. And even for Magic the Gathering, let's take Magic the Gathering. These Timmies have no idea what's going to hit them. They have no idea. The fact that there are other Timmies with the exact same collection as them constantly emailing me and other people. The reason that these Timmies cannot get out of their quote investment to make a down payment on their first home is very simple. Once, you, for me, I bought from two different Timmies, one, two very big Timmies. I have no appetite to buy any more of the same stupid boxes. Alpha Investment is not selling anything unique. Let's say there's a thousand Timmies on Patreon and they're all buying a case of the newest set. They're all buying a case of the newest collector's edition and so on. Well, at any given time, there's probably, what, what would we say, 50 to 75 Timmies trying to offload their entire collection to random people online. I got 14 emails. Seven of them, I believe, are Timmies from Alpha Investment because their list is exactly the same order. For Some of them are exactly the same amount of booster boxes because there must be some type of limit. Uh, the two collections I bought, there was no limit, so it was a little bit more random because they were paying $100 a month to be a giant Timmy. But for these guys, I think they were limited to like a case or so on. So you can tell from their collection, their $22,000 collection, it's just the same cases of stuff. And once you buy one from one Timmy, you don't need to buy from the other Timmies. There's no profit, there's no margin, and they all want to get out. They want to get out because the economy is... Now, I read somewhere that there are less jobs. There's like, I don't know how that's possible. Uh, there's 818,000 less jobs. Can, can you imagine that? 818,000 less jobs than before. This is wild, man. How, how the hell did those jobs disappear? Where did the jobs go? Where did the jobs go? Well, they certainly didn't go to Magic the Gathering players. I just saw uh, one of the most viral tweets online right now on Facebook is a Magic player, a homeless Magic player playing another homeless Magic player and then giving that homeless Magic player $5 if, as if that was a big deal. I'm not kidding. That, that's what's going viral in the Magic community. It ain't no uh, dude with like 10 Black Lotuses flexing. It's uh, homeless people playing Magic the Gathering of all the homeless people and then giving them a $5 tip while taking like 25 pictures of the homeless guy. Totally uh, chill, you know, for that social justice. I'm sure the homeless definitely want to be post plastered everywhere online. Maybe a family member will recognize them and they'll get the help they need. Social media, baby. All right, back to, uh, back to my original train of thought. I was not going to make these videos no more, but the MetaZoo stuff is just so fucking good, man. Like, it was a 48 interview of MetaZoo. And I thought, okay, let me check my emails. There's always funny stuff in my emails you guys send me. And I was like, oh, this is hilarious. This dude has a MetaZoo collection. So it's like one-fifth Pokemon, one-fifth Magic, one-fifth MetaZoo, one-fifth Flesh and Blood, one-fifth Sorcery. I'm not going to speak ill about Sorcery and Flesh and Blood. I don't know about those two games. But, like, for me, I cannot play five mother effing games at the same time. Clearly, this guy is buying it for an investment. How do you know? Because, like, if you like something, you kind of just like it, right? I like magic, so most of what I buy is magic. When I want to play some Pokemon, we mostly buy just Pokemon to open. We don't actually play Pokemon. We just like the, the, the art and the Pokemon ourselves. We play Pokemon Go, and that's why we open Pokemon cards, because it's cool to see that. But am I ever going to play MetaZoo or have a MetaZoo card? No, I don't have the time for that. And you might be like, oh, don't you do Weiss? Isn't that a new card? Yes, because that's something that my significant other appreciates. And we open boxes, we have fun, we see, it tells me about the story of the anime and so on. It brings her joy, right? So we'll buy whatever. It's uh, pennies on the dollar to me. Business, by the way, is really good. So 
two things are happening. One, my uh, my baby and dog channel is exploding and doing really well. Uh, and two, my other lawyer and marketing channel is doing really well. I guess you call it Donald Trump channel. <laughs> you know, that's the reason it's doing so well. And uh, yeah, it's hard to dedicate time to this shit, man, to the Magic the Gathering. I've just lost all interest, not in Magic the Gathering, but in like YouTube. It's not fun. There's no topics to cover. I don't give a shit. But holy shit, the MetaZoo maniac, the MetaZoo master is back to discipline all his investors and whip them into shape. And you got to buy more. Buy the low. Buy the low. Man, it don't get much lower than now. <laughs> I tell you, people People say, oh, there's so much liquidity in MetaZoo. It's amazing. It's the best time. Okay, let me explain how the Hello Kitty thing. People paid $300 for two booster boxes of Hello Kitty. Kind of like a bundle they were paying from Alpha Investment. Except his bundle has one booster box and costs $820. A little different, right? Just because eBay says, oh, shit. We, this product sucks. Let's take it from three hundred to one hundred and fifty. Let's give everyone who paid three hundred dollars for it, a you know, a discount uh, of half, and refund their money. So now the people who were going to put three hundred dollars into it have an extra one hundred and fifty dollars to buy an extra two booster boxes. That does not mean there's the liquidity has gone. Okay, technically liquidity has gone up, but that doesn't mean the net value has changed. The people who are, would buy two boxes for $300 or the people who are now buying four boxes for $300. I remember seeing Argos Anonymous and where the hell is that dude? Where the hell is that dude? Like at least Alpha Investment, hey man, give him credit. He admitted he was wrong. He admitted he was embarrassed and ashamed and that's why he deleted those videos. Credit dude, man. I don't like the dude, but hey, at least he's not Argos Anonymous, right? Where the fuck is that dude? Where is he? Like, where is he? Where is he, guys? <laughs> and, and you know what's hilarious? The MetaZoo community think, still thinks he's a nice guy. He sold you on dreams and hopes, and you're going to try to buy a home on fucking MetaZoo. Are you, are you effing kidding me? Are you effing kidding me right now? I mean, and, and it's not one, Timmy. If I wasn't so damn lazy... I would just pull up all the Timmies and all the, I would do some type of analysis or spreadsheet. I would show you the emails we were input in spreadsheet live. We might have to go mother effing live tonight. Whenever, but this is posted a long week ago. By the time you get this shit, we may or may not be live. Dude, this shit is just wild. Like it is so stupid. It is so stupid. They're trying to put down payments on their homes using MetaZoo. Guys, like, like what the hell is wrong with you guys? 